Summertime is always beautiful on the island of Sodor. The water sparkles in the sun. And beautiful flowers blossom everywhere. It is a busy time for all the engines. They collect lots of holidaymakers from the from the docks and show them all the splendid sights. James shows them the seaside. Emily shows them the window. And Thomas shows them the Sodor suspension. And Thomas shows them the Sodor suspension bridge. The bridge is one of the holidaymakers' favorite sites. And each night, when the work is done, Gordon, Henry, James, Edward, Percy, and Thomas go back to their home at Tidmouth Sheds. One morning, the fat controller came to Tidmouth Sheds. He had a very important announcement to make. A new airport is to be built on Sodor. It will bring more holidaymakers to the island than ever before, he told the engines proudly. The engines were very excited. We'll get to see the airplanes, Percy puffed, and show even more holidaymakers the sights, chuffed Thomas. And show even more holidaymakers the sights, chuffed Thomas. <laughs> Thomas and Percy arrived at the airport building site. They were bringing bricks and timber to the builders. Think of all the holiday makers, chuffed Thomas. And all, and all the airplanes, puffed Percy. And Harry and Bert arrived. Stinky steamies in the way again, mumbled Harry. Why do we have to work near them, grumbled Bert. This made Thomas and Percy cross. They didn't want to work near the diesels either. They didn't want to work near the diesels either. The diesels were oily, and they were very different to the steamies. Diesels were oily, and they were very different to the steamies. The diesels were oily, and they were very different to the steamies. Can you see what is different about steam engines and diesel engines? Thomas is a steam engine. He runs on coal. Now here... Now here are Harry and Bert. Do they run on coal? No. They run on diesel fuel. Not like steam engines at all. When Thomas stops, he wishes steam. Do Harry and Bert steam? No. Diesels don't make steam. But sometimes they make nasty black smoke. Did you... Did you hear that? That's Thomas's whistle. All steam engines have whistles. But what was that noise? It was Harry and Bert honking their horns. Diesel engines don't have whistles. They have horns instead. Steam engines and diesel engines really are very different. Thomas had a busy day. That afternoon, he had to collect some timber from the yard. But when Thomas arrived, Harry and Bert were already there. 
Their trucks were being loaded with planks of wood, ready to take to the building site. We've got a really important job to do, boasted Bert. More important than any steamy's job, added Harry. Thomas was cross. But then he had an idea, a very naughty idea. Thomas rolled quietly up behind Bert's trucks. And just as the crane dropped the timber, he gave them an extra big, an extra big shot. Ho, ho, laughed Thomas. Now you'll be late for your important job. And he puffed away. Later, Thomas and Percy were shunting trucks in the yard. They were having a wonderful time. They were bumping trucks and blowing their whistles. Then, Diesel rolled into the yard. I hear you've been making trouble for Harry and Bert, oil Diesel. But you won't make trouble for me. I've got an important job to do. Thomas had another naughty idea. I'm going back for them. No. I have to sneak back, and the only way to do that is to go alone. You can. Fly back to the village and make sure our friends are all right. Then meet me on the far side of the harbor. But do 